Look at the size of those feet. My God. It's early, but I got something I want to show you. First, coffee. It's not news that dinosaurs evolved into birds, but it's not always the easiest thing to wrap your head around. Like something like this evolved into something like this. So we know as scientists that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Uh, we know that they are part of the dinosaur family tree. That means they are dinosaurs, scientifically speaking. And it's been confirmed over the last 25 years or so by the discovery of thousands of different dinosaur fossils covered in feathers, all kinds of feathers, even wings on some of these dinosaurs. I think that idea is still percolating through pop culture. So I do think that uh, it's not uh, an idea that is completely uh, reached the public in the same way that other ideas have. That is Steve Bursati. He's a paleontologist and the author of The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, an amazing book about all kinds of dino stuff, but it does an incredible job of explaining how and why those terrible lizards turned into our feathered friends. Still not always the easiest thing to grasp though, which is why we're headed to Mabamba Swamp. Out here, a few hours outside of Kampala, is one of the best places in the world to see a bird that's got some serious dino vibes, the shoebill. But first, you've got to find one. So I jumped in this boat with Captain Tony and my guide Julian to track one down. After an hour or so of searching and some valiant pushing through the swamp by our captain, Tony, we find one. This bird stands at a massive four and a half feet tall. Its beak is seven inches long and strong enough to rip its prey in half. Their prey is lungfish. Shoebills hunt them in this fascinating way where they just stand perfectly still. My guide, Julian, says she's watched them do this for hours at a time. Three hours? Three hours? Yes. So you've sat and watched one for three hours at a time? Yes, in most cases, three hours, but sometimes you can see it for the full day. When they do finally decide to strike, they ambush the fish. They thrust their entire head down into the water. But what makes shoebills so captivating, at least to me, is just how they look. Huge head, forward-facing eyes, and this imposing stance. You only have to squint a little bit to imagine that head looking like this head. See, dinosaurs did evolve into birds, but it wasn't the dinosaurs that looked like this. It was the ones that looked like this. Dinosaurs called theropods. A theropod is a type of dinosaur. Most theropods ate meat, T-Rex, Velociraptor. They're the ones with sharp teeth, sharp claws. A few of them did some different things, and a few of them became plant eaters. Some of them became omnivores. Some of them developed wings and started to fly and became the birds of today. Even though there are lots of articles online calling shoebills prehistoric and the bird's Latin name has Rex in it, there isn't anything especially prehistoric about these birds. They look, they feel kind of primeval, for lack of a better term. And when you look at them, you do get a sense of their dinosaur ancestry because they do kind of look like a little bit of a velociraptor, a little bit of a a meat-eating dinosaur. Now, that's not because they are the closest bird relatives of dinosaurs or anything like that. 
when I look at a shoe bill, I see some parallels with T-Rex. T-Rex had a similar face. Yes, at much bigger scale, but T-Rex had this kind of face. You could look directly into its eyes. Its eyes were largely facing forward, like our eyes and like a shoe bill's eyes. Each eye could overlap a little bit, which means that they can see in 3D, some depth perception. So although shoe bills themselves are not necessarily prehistoric, they do give that connection with dinosaurs. And when I look at them, um, I, I see that. I see that dinosaur legacy. Like the dinosaurs, though, these amazing birds are at risk of extinction. It's estimated that there are 3,000 to 5,000 shoe bills left on Earth. They're listed as vulnerable, so not quite endangered, but their population is going down. And that's because areas like Mabamba are changing. Swamp lands like these are being taken over by pasture, and cows accidentally stomp on shoebill nests. There's also pollution and also this. In some places, shoebills are hunted because they're considered a bad omen. If you ask me, there is no way these birds are a bad omen. They're like living proof that dinosaurs turned into birds. And what they did ended up looking like Sam the Eagle from The Muppets. Is that what they remind you of? Maybe a dinosaur, maybe a puppet? What do you think of when you see a shoe bill? Make a comment below, and I'll see you the next time for another adventure.